What's going to happen with those clouds? Are they going to open up? Or are we going to see some rain? What's the deal, Kev? Well, those clouds, they're just going to stick around. In fact, they're basically going to linger into the day on Tuesday. You know, I'll take the clouds this time of the year because the upside is the fact that temperatures have remained very comfortable for late July. As you know, it can be a whole lot hotter out there. But despite the fact it's a tad bit muggy without the sun, it's actually been pretty comfortable today. Temperatures have generally been in the 70s. The good news is that for this evening, most of us are going to enjoy a dry Monday night. Here's a live look at radar. There's not a lot going on around the area at the moment. There were a few spits of rain I know in and about the town earlier this afternoon. Those have since fizzled. The really only concentrated area of rain is much farther to our east and it's lifting out of Adams County up into parts of Highland County here. So mainly moving away from the metro area, but you've got some downpours over there around Peebles and West Union back towards Blue Creek, a little wet weather. Aside from that, most of us are going to enjoy a dry evening even though it looks like rain. So again, most of this evening is dry. Temperatures will gradually fall through the mid 70s overnight tonight with a few breaks in the clouds developing while we sleep. Overnight lows will be allowed to dip back into the mid 60s by morning. Now, all things considered, I know we're kind of getting off to an ugly kind of gloomy start to the week. Really, it's not going to be a bad week around here weather wise. In fact, Temperatures, while we're going to see them warm up a little bit, they're actually going to be fairly mild for late July. And yes, we're eventually going to get some sunshine back in here by the time we get to Wednesday. So this pesky upper low that is now parked over the southern Appalachians in eastern Tennessee tonight, this is the same one that brought us the severe weather on Friday, the wet weather on Saturday, and the hit and miss downpours yesterday. You see how everything is kind of pinwheeling around it. Eventually, it's going to get the kick to the east. It's just going to take it another day. So as we come back downtown, you see the gloomy conditions, 77 degrees at the airport. This sure has felt nice. That north breeze has kind of felt real refreshing with temperatures only in the 70s today. Look at this. Most of us now just barely reaching 80 in Wyoming, but Kenwood's at 74, Hyde Park 74, 77 over there in Dale High. Check out Futurecast and you'll see here it's quiet through the night tonight. Again, we may see a few breaks in the clouds begin to develop. Then as we get into Tuesday, tomorrow will essentially be a repeat of today where most of us are dry, but I won't rule out a stray, very brief shower, nothing really heavy. And then by Wednesday, as I mentioned, that upper low is getting out of here and we're getting into some sunshine and thus temperatures will climb a couple of degrees. So mostly cloudy tonight, you know, 65 is not bad in July, so I'm going to call it a comfortable night. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, small chance for a stray shower. A little more sun will get closer to 80 degrees. Here's your day planner. I think all things considered, when you're struggling to get into the 80s in July, that's pretty comfortable. So let's call it a decent Tuesday around the area. Here's your seven day forecast with more sun Wednesday and Thursday. We head into the mid 80s, but then a cool front sneaks in here for the end of the week and talk about a makeup for last weekend. Beautiful weather coming in here. It looks like this weekend highs only in the low 80s and the nights very comfortable with low humidity in the 60s. All right, looks better than last week's seven day for sure, though, right. Kevin. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry.